Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the curvature tool in Adobe Illustrator. So I've got a new document created on screen. Now, if you're familiar with the pen tool, you can use this to create custom shapes with straight lines and curved lines. And what we're going to be using is the curvature tool. Now, this is very, very similar. And in a CC version of Illustrator, you should have this tool alongside the main pen tool and it's very similar. The main difference is that you left click and you can left click and hold and position your second anchor point. And if you let go, now you'll see that it now uses that line as a guide to draw a curve around. So we can see in real time how our curve is going to look. So we can adjust this by moving the mouse around until we get the angle that is right for us and we left click again and it will set an anchor point in the appropriate place or the appropriate places and we can continue that curve. Now one of the big challenges with the pen tool is sometimes you can draw your curves and they're not quite smooth and it's very difficult especially if you're new to the pen tool to get your lines and your shapes all flowing nicely together and the curvature tool makes this very easy. That you can see here in real time it bends round and I can loop this all the way back. Now you can see that I'm coming in at quite a sharp angle there and as soon as that mouse hovers over the anchor point it automatically adjusts this curve along the top here to help keep it as smooth as possible. And of course with the curvature tool selected you can click on any of the anchor points and adjust them and as you adjust them, it also bends all of the other ones around as well. So this tool is really helpful in creating a nice shape with nice smooth points. So you can pull these points around just to adjust that angle. And you can even go and add additional anchor points with the curvature tool by clicking anywhere along that path. And you can see the path is highlighted there with my smart guides. So you can switch those on here, which is also really helpful. Then we can then pull out that additional anchor point or pull it in and it adjusts all of the other paths either side to compensate for that adjustment just to keep everything nice and smooth. And of course you can delete an anchor point simply by selecting it and hitting delete or backspace and just bring that in. And there we go, that's how to use the curvature tool in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.